Yo, okay, hey guys, it's Malt. This one will be a bit of a different video today. Today I'm going to be going over a couple of my personal stories that I've had uh, whilst being intoxicated and whilst being drunk. Now, I know what you're thinking, sponsors, if anyone's watching this video, this is me previously, so I don't actually get drunk anymore. This is me in my early teenage years slash into my early 20s. I'm 26 now and I've got a full-time job, so I really don't get drunk anymore. Uh, but I thought it would be uh, interesting to chuck some personal stuff on the channel just so you guys can get to know me a bit better. Um, so, let's jump straight into this story so my first one here is at my mates 19th so one of my good mates well not really one of my good mates but one of the guys that i knew through high school was having a 19th over at his place and his parents were pretty chill uh, about a whole bunch of different things so it was just over at his place and his parents were joining in as well um literally just down the road from me so i pretty much walked there with no real way, real option of getting home. I was essentially going to walk home. So, we pretty much got there and in the back of his backyard, he's got like this kind of like a, how would you describe it? Kind of like a, um, like a, like a backyard kind of small house thing. I'm not too sure what you guys would call it in America or any other countries, but it's kind of like a cubby house backyard thing. Uh, I guess you could live in it if you really wanted to, but he had that and in it was basically drinks so like JD, Coke, orange juice and all these different type of alcohols and stuff like that and i remember i was sitting there kind of chatting away with a couple of guys before the party started i got there i think i got there like half an hour an hour earlier something like that uh, i can't actually remember when i got there but um i remember he came in he's like oh g'day guys you know what's going on i was like yeah g'day mate obviously i won't you know in all these stories i won't um I won't reveal anybody's names or uh, my name or anything like that just for security reasons and stuff like that but um he comes in chucks down a two liter bottle of jack daniels which at the time for me i was like oh yeah sweet heck yes you know let's let's get this party started type thing chucks two liters down of coke and i'm like i i know i'm gonna be spending the night you know what i mean uh so i kind of sat there drinking away with a couple of mates having a good time and i got yeah i got so smashed that i by the time i had finished the jack daniels i was eyeing off the orange juice pretty hard that had been sat there as well so i ended up having jack daniels and orange juice yes i know that sounds disgusting and it totally is if you gave me that to me today i'd be like you're feral literally get that out of my face right now i don't know how i even managed to stomach that uh, but then i remember I ended up uh, going to the bathroom and i was like i'm pretty sure i like fell over or something like that or stumbled over at this stage i was fairly plastered um fell over basically was on the floor for like 15 20 minutes trying to like r reach the handle it was way further out than i thought it was but in my intoxicated brain i was like oh yeah i could totally get to that handle i could totally you know get over there and manage to get the door open and i ended up getting out you know stumbling over i think the jd was gone at this stage and my mate comes out of so this the the granny flat thing was pretty much like uh, like 15 20 meters from the actual house and he comes out and he goes who wants absinthe and me and my drunken stupid was like mm, me i want some and i was like oh my gosh i can't even so for those people that don't know what absinthe is so normal alcohol so like whiskey and stuff like that's around like 40 percent, usually 35 some of the more heavy ones are a bit higher but this particular alcohol is like 60 65 70 percent alcohol so i was like Oh my goodness, all right. So, and then I ended up having that. And then I was like in, he had like a blow up pool or something like that. Um, so, it was just like stumbling around. I was like, I was super gone at this stage. And he's like, all right, time to come inside. You know, it's getting a bit late. So, I can't remember what time it was at this stage because, you know, I wasn't really checking my phone or anything like that. So, get out of the pool, walk up the like little side steps he had. He had like two or three steps, walk up those, walk inside of his house. Uh, and my mate was like, you're all good to come inside. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended up going inside. And I was like, look at everyone. And they're just like, vomit all over the floor. Like, complete, like, all over the floor. They end up getting me a bucket, vomit in that. And then at that stage, I'm like, yeah, this is, this is, my, this is my cue to go home. I've definitely had too much. So, I end up getting one of my really good mates from high school was there as well. He chucks his, um, like, his hand, like, around my shoulder. So, like, one arm's on... One of his hands around, like, say he's on my left one and his hands around my right shoulder. And then one, I can't remember who else, one of his other mates was, like, the opposite way. So, they're, like, essentially, like, lifting me up. And they, like, hobbled me over to the car. I jumped in the car and they ended up driving me home. And that was essentially the night. So, I... I was planning on walking home, but yeah, that night ended up with <laughs> my friends having to get me home. So, that was... Oh, man, that was like a good couple of years ago now. So, I would have been like 20. So, I was like... I, I might have even been younger than that. I think I was 
18 maybe i was fairly recent to so in australia you can start drinking when you're 18 while i was like unlike in america you can start drinking when you're 21 so yeah basically then i did it for me like that work up with no hangover because you know when you're 18 and 19 you don't get hangovers whatsoever that's the beauty of being young i you know i get if i do end up drinking a little bit more than i should nowadays it takes me like <laughs> a day or two to recover um so anyway that's one of the stories um i end up waffling at that stage but um the second story that i have is my work christmas party so not my current work um my previous work um basically this i so we started the night and for i don't know if you guys ever been to work christmas parties or if you're old enough to be at work full time but basically at the end of the year around kind of december your work ends up booking out a place for a couple of hours something like that and you end up you know having a couple of drinks chilling out with workmates it's always a good time good times to be had and uh you can kind of go from there have a couple of drinks usually there's pretty decent food Uh, i've been to a couple where there's you know food's pretty average but basically you start off the night and between i think between like eight and nine i end up having like nine beers or something like that it was yeah it was ridiculous and then the night finished young and they were just like packed it in you know uh, put the rafters up they said all right you know no more drinks night's over type thing and you know me and the guys were like no night's definitely not over so i ended up going from there to another bar uh, and actually I missed a part I ended up like dropping like a whole drink in front of like not my manager not his manager but the manager above and I was just like yeah no it's all good no worries and like spilled all over the floor I had to end up getting like serviettes and stuff like that it was super embarrassing but anyway after we went to that we ended up going to another place as well and I ended up we ended up going to like kind of like an underground bar in the city or whatever. I can't remember which bar it was at this stage. And there was like a secret room you can go into in the back. So we ended up going there. Having, I had a, we ended up having some scotch, I think it was. And then I came out at this stage. I was, yeah, I was pretty gone. I ended up downing some dude's ran a beer. I don't know why. Don't, don't get me wrong. I have no idea why I ended up doing this, but grabbed the beer, downed it. And then I ordered myself a double, double Kraken and Coke, I'm pretty sure, which is my favorite rum, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. Um, ended up ordering that and then I think from there we went to another bar I can't remember what that bar was and then I'm not too sure if it was before or after we went to Maccas but I'll get into that in just a second and so then we went to the somehow I got led into this other club no idea how dude must have been hella blind because I was definitely way too drunk to be going in through to another club I ended up ordering two double shot Jack and Daniel and Coke so this stage I'm just absolutely off my chops and then I think after that we went to Maccas which for people that don't know, Macca's is McDonald's as well. Um, and then at this stage, I have like a... I don't normally... One I did, you know, get drunk and stuff and go to parties. I don't have any blackout memories. Like, I didn't get that smash that I didn't remember anything. But this time, I just couldn't remember anything. Apparently, we went to Macca's. I went to the bathroom. And I remember going to the bathroom. But apparently, I just like wasn't eating anything. And I just fell over on the floor. And I like passed out or whatever. And I totally don't remember this at all. Um, and then I ended up, so the beginning of the night, I knew I was going to be in for a he- heavy night. So, um, one of my workmates ended up staying, I uh, ended up planning to stay at his place. So, I didn't, so I wasn't too far away from that, that work. I was about, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour on the train type thing. But I ended, I knew that I was going to be, you know, drinking a lot. So, I ended up staying at his place. And then, yeah, the next morning wasn't a fun time. Uh, basically, I was on the late shift and I ended up, yeah, oh, no, I wasn't on the late shift. I was on the early shift and I ended up being like super late to work boss was not happy <laughs> basically yeah that i definitely the next christmas party after that i you know withstood in my limit yeah it was pretty embarrassing so that was my work christmas party and um i've got two more stories here i've been rambling for a long time so uh sorry about that guys um so this is a tafe night so this is when i was in tafe so if you guys don't know what tafe is i think it's tertiary advanced Something education, so basically it's like um, like a mini uni uh, or a mini college, if you will. Uh, so basically you finish high school and then you go into there. So how it works in Australia is you have um, high school, which is year 7 to 12, and seven, uh, 12, I think, is the senior year or however it's called in America. So I ended up going from year 12, had a bit of a break, did some other extra study, and then did another course, uh, which is what I do. I work in IT, so I did that. Um, I uh, worked there and then so basically in my IT course I went out 
string of the couple of mates every now and then. So basically at a specific bowling place, which I won't name, um, there was a, if you win the trivia on a Tuesday night, you get a $200 bar tab. So me and my, me and my mate and my other mate, um, who was all in the part of the tape course together, we ended up going through to that. And basically we ended up pre-drinking. So I think we had like two or four or something like that double shot. And no, we had four double shot vodka and vodka and lemonades i think it was originally um the night the before we left so we were just you know totally buzzing before we left and you know going bowling when you're drunk i don't if you guys haven't done it yet i would recommend it it's super fun going bowling when you're, you've been drinking is actually a really fun time i don't think we ended up doing laser tag some some bowling places do laser tag and um some bowling, bowling and laser tag together in like a combination. I think you can do like, you know, thirty dollars or fifty dollars or however how much it is. I'm not too sure. I'm not a huge fan of laser tag as is, but we ended up um, winning the bar, winning the trivia night one of the nights, and then going this night to go to the bowling. And basically, I think, I, I think we had like twenty drinks or 25 or something ridiculous it was utterly ridiculous the amount that we had um and then i remember remember ended up going to the bathroom and like i went to rest my eyes and i remember my mate i remember my mate coming in he's like knocking on like the so like the door to you know you know if you've got you know obviously you've been to club bathrooms and stuff like that so it's like you know not really a tall door or anything like that. he ended up knocking on the door he's like you're right bro and i'm like what and i like wake up and he's like you've been here for like 20 25 minutes and i'm like no way, bro. I've been in for like five minutes. And he's like, no, no, no. You've been in here a while. And I think at that stage, we kind of packed up our boots. And then I'm pretty sure we had tape the next day. And he didn't end up coming because he was just gone. But I think I ended up going the next day as well. So that was a definite night to remember and night to learn from. Um, <laughs> go from there. And my last and final story that I have for you guys is schoolies. So I'm going to explain this a little bit because... Uh, a lot of my audience is American and they don't know what schoolies is. So when you finish senior year in Australia, you end up going on what's called schoolies. So it's like a big trip. You can you can go to like, you know, Bali, Queensland, um, Fiji, basically anywhere you want. It's just with a bunch of your school friends and you basically just go have a good time, you know, get drunk and, uh, you know, do fun stuff and that type of stuff. So we, I ended up going with like two of my really, really good mates um, and then we went from there. Um and basically, this one isn't super crazy. We ended up, you know, drinking a bunch, and they had <laughs> they, this guy didn't this the this guy didn't end up finding out. By the way, so I doubt he's watching this video anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we ended up getting drunk, and I think I had some CDs or whatever that I got from a mate, or uh, I can't remember where I got it from, and ended up like, pegging them at each other just because. I don't know, we were, I was like 17 at that stage, I think he was 18, we were just being idiots or whatever, and I ended up pegging it, we were just pegging CDs at each other, yada, 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 and I ended up pegging it at him, and he, I remember he docked, and it hit the TV, and it actually like took out a chunk of the TV, and I was like, oh no bro, this is, because we ended up, we had to have it pay a bond before we went there, because we went to, uh, like, I think it was an Airbnb or something like that, and he ended up chipping the actual TV, and I was like, oh my gosh, we're stuffed, bro, he's going to end up finding out, he's going to like, you know, come in here, and you know, he's going to give us a call and make us pay for all this different type, different type of stuff, but in the end, he actually didn't notice, and we got away scot-free, so bottom line of the story is, don't get drunk and throw stuff at TVs or break anything when you are intoxicated because you will probably end up having to pay for it. Anyway, guys, a bit of a different video from me. Um, this video is up to 13 minutes, so I'm, I apologize for that. I ended up meaning to be a lot shorter than that. But uh, if you like these type of videos from me, me just kind of, you know, going over some personal stories or personal life, drop it in the comment section below. Um, subscribe for more FPS content, so I'll be... Um, jumping on through to some more uh, Battlefield and Halo stuff when that comes out as well and some other FPS games as well just to try to broaden my content and go from there. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.